is a British Columbian high school hiding important details from parents about a male intruder who was found in the girls' change room. Drea Humphrey with Rebel News, bringing you the story. Why are we not allowed on here? So I'm just covering the incident that was here because parents are concerned that they're not getting the full story. Okay, do you want to let us know the communication? I don't want to be filmed. Drea Humphrey here with Rebel News, standing in front of Brookswood Secondary School. And if you're a parent, you know your main concern at all times is the safety of your child. I'm here because some tipsters gave us some information that there was a biological male who intruded at this school and had to be escorted off of the property by RCMP on January 10th. But here's the thing. The notice that came out to the parents was somewhat tight-lipped. It was a basically, don't worry, it's no big deal. Let me read some of it to you. Principal Lisa Ellis says a staff member and a few students reported a community member in distress inside one of the school change rooms. The individual was non-threatening. Administrators called the police and had the students relocate to another side of the school and that a Langley RCMP officer walked the individual out of the school and were able to provide assistance. Creepy, isn't it? But why the lack of information? Why not say it was the girls' change room during gym class for grade 8 girl students, some who were in the change room at the time? And why not tell us if the person inside was a man or a woman? Rebel News did some digging to get more on the story to tell you and the parents of the school what is going on. We spoke to several students and several parents. We're getting conflicting stories, but some are saying that the individual identified themselves as being transgender. Other students are saying they didn't hear that, but their friends told them that the man was watching them while some girls were doing a TikTok inside and that the man was in his underwear and had taken a shower there. So is this a biological male identifying as a transgender person and creeping on kids in the change room or someone who was down and out and maybe struggling with something else? We don't know for sure, but the real question is, why not just tell the parents all the details? And how did this individual get inside? It's not just the school that's not providing all of the important information. I reached out to the RCMP. I asked them a series of questions to get more information for you and the parents, including to give some details about the identity. Here's what they said. Just before 9 a.m., Langley RCMP responded to a call for assistance at Brookwood Secondary School. School administrators reported a member of the community was at the school and in distress. Officers responded and the individual was located and apprehended without incident. Wait a minute, the individual was distressed? They're inside of the girls' change room, but I thought the school said there was no risk to the child, that... It was just simply a harmless situation. So what exactly does distressed mean? We got one statement from a parent who prefers to stay anonymous who said the following. A stranger in distress entering the change room of young girls in school is most definitely threatening. I don't think anyone is okay with that. And he's right. And it's not just the school, the RCMP who are leaving out important details here. It's also the media that have been silent about a half-naked male intruder in a girl's space. Why are we not allowed on here? On our premises is Rebel News. May I ask who you are? Can I ask who you are? No, you can't. No, you can kill me. Well, I don't know if you're authorized to kick me off the property without... Who are you? I'm authorized to kick you off the property. I don't, well, I don't know that. What's your name? So can you let us know a little bit more details about the man who was in the girls' change room? I have no comment. No comment? Who are you? Please leave. I'm happy to leave. I just need to know who you are. You must report to the office and have reason to be here. Okay, I'm Rebel so News. I'm just covering the no incident that was here because parents are concerned that they're not getting the full story. I've been communicated with. Okay, do you want to let us know the communication? And I don't want to be filmed. Thank you. 
All right, well, we were just wrapping up the report anyways, but the quote that I read to you uh, was one parent who feels they're not getting the full story. We spoke to several parents who share the same sentiment with that. Now, we've done some digging, giving you as much information as we can as we're getting kicked off of the property. Uh, but this is Rebel News where we tell you the other side of the story. Well, that was Brookswood secondary principal herself, Lisa Ellis, failing to provide the public with comment about this important matter. It shouldn't be too surprising since she failed to provide parents with key important information so that, I don't know, maybe they could have a safety protocol discussion with their grade 8 daughter who may soon find themselves in the girls' change room with a distressed, half-naked man who's staring at them, according to her own students and some of her own parents. But how could I forget? That's uh, non-threatening, right? Let me know in the comments if you agree. You see, Principal Ellis may have succeeded at booting us off of the school grounds, but this is Rebel News, and I'm Drea Humphrey. She will not stop us from getting our boots on the ground to tell parents what's been going on behind school doors, and that's why we have a dedicated website to just that. Go to stopclassroomgrooming.com to stay informed. And if you appreciate the independent journalism we bring you, you can chip in a few bucks by donating while you're there. Andrea Humphrey, and this is Rebel News.